I'm going to do the makeup look that I did for my hair cut reveal. I apologize for the ambient noise. Neil the Builder is busy out banging boards out in the street today. Actually, I think uh, scraps from his project are being carried out to the street because today is garbage day. Let's begin. I'm going to use, I'm going to revisit an oldie but a goodie. The Dolce & Gabbana Perfect Mono Eye Color in Nude. And I'm going to visit another oldie but goodie and this is the Multitasker Concealer Brush from Sephora. So it finally quit raining here and the temperature dropped again. It was warm and balmy yesterday, yesterday, because it was, ra it was raining. Taco and I went for a walk and when we got at the, we had, we walk around the pond like, the, like our house is here and we walk around the pond, around town, walk around the pond. And when we got the furthest point from the house where either way that we went was the same, the bottom fell out and Taco panicked. So I had to pick him up and run with him. And that wasn't good enough. Then I had to open up my jacket and stick him in my jacket because he said it was kill he it was killing him. He said he was gonna drown. And that he was never gonna forgive me for putting him through that. Never mind never mind the fact that he begged to go on that walk. What I'm doing is looking at my lid and when I have a nice, smooth, even pigment canvas, you know, capillaries. <laughs> Isn't that what the Brits call it? <laughs> capillaries. <laughs> Always get such a hoot out of that. Nothing wrong with it. Maybe I, maybe we pronounce it wrong. Maybe we put the emphasis on the wrong syllable. I do not know. All right, all of my capillaries are covered up. So yesterday I used this Makeup Geek palette and the colors are Luna, Beaches and Cream, Artemis, Frappe, Sora, Cosmopolitan, Aphrodite, Mars, and Insomnia. And you might not be able to get this palette anymore, but I'm certain that you can buy them in these colors in the singles, or you have something similar to these. I'm going to begin with a clean brush, and that is a novel idea for me. This one's a Morphe 518, and I'm going to take the, I'm going to do a traditional eye. I'm going to take the beaches and cream and run that along the brow bone because it gives me time to plot out the next color. I don't know. It probably does help the other colors to blend. Then this one is Sora. S-O-R-A. Sora. Don't know what that means. I slammed my finger in the door and it's Sora. So I'm going just just below that. Beaches and cream. Then I'm gonna take Frappe. Speaking of Frappe, how about latte? So I enjoy coffee so much. I wanted uh I want to drink decaf later in the day to enjoy coffee. Well because I'm very sensitive to caffeine. And even the decaf has too much caffeine in it for me. So I started studying it and the Swiss water decaf has the least amount of caffeine. And I didn't want to order it off online. Okay, this color that I'm going in now, I'm going in with a pencil brush and this is an F30, 
E30, and the color is Aphrodite. Yeah, and I'm putting it in that outer V and dragging it underneath a little bit. So the Swiss water decaf, that system is supposed to be healthier and it extracts more of the caffeine than whatever. And I understand the other system is poisonous. <laughs> yeah, what is it? In the outer bay. And like I said, I didn't want to order it online. So on my way home from the gym, I had to go by Costco and you would think as big as Costco is I would have multiple choices of decaf coffee in both K-cups and loose because I got a Keurig I got a pretty pink Keurig that way it would be simple to make coffee I don't have a regular coffee maker. It'd be simple to make coffee on the days that my that I wanted to just drink black coffee. So anyway, I had I picked up eggs. We buy organic eggs and we eat at least two each a night. Alright, I'm gonna take a no I'm not. I'm not gonna take a clean brush yet. Now I'm gonna take the color, it's a red one. My eyeshadow it. I think it's a pressed pigment and it's not pressed anymore. All right, I'm going to take my pencil brush and I'm going to take that red and I'm going to make it poking out from that chocolatey brown like that. What was the red called? Mars. We've done a cut. We've done a look with this before. This is a pretty red. We haven't, but I have. I hate when I say that. We. We this, we that. Like I make the assumption that you agree or are on the same page. I have no idea. Okay, now I'm going to take the color Cosmopolitan, which is a, a peach color. Um, a metallic peach and put that there front one-third of this eye look and then I'm going to take what is that Luna Luna and put that right on the very inside. We're gonna give that more attention later. And up here under the brow, Luna under the brow. I'm carrying this, I guess it's Aphrodite, the chocolate brand, I'm carrying it I'm tickling in between my lashes the rest of the way. We haven't done any blending yet, mind you. So far, we're just placing it. Now I'm going to take a clean brush and I'm going to blend this. So anyway, back to the decaf story. So they didn't have any Swiss water decaf at Costco in the actual store. They may have had it online, but like I said, I didn't want to get it online. I wanted to go in the store and buy it because I wanted it like right then. Well, see, so what else did I get at Costco? Got eggs, got half and half. Oh, and a new favorite. I'll show that to you when the camera uh, overheats and I have a break while it's cooling off. I'll go gather up some of my favorite stuff. I have a few things to show you. 
some that are timely because they're gonna run out. Let's work on brows for a memento. I can't seem to, I, I need brow help. I can't get them the way I want them. And I've, I've chopped, I've chopped, not only have I chopped on my hair, I've chopped on my brows. So this is the Tarte 24 hour brow setter. I, I guess I have old people brows now. Cause they're, they're squirrely. I'm gonna brush them up so I can see. And, and I've gone, uh, I've got a little uh, adventuresome with my sh shave, shaving. <laughs> and I shaved off the ends of my brows. I've been watching too much Alex. All right, so this is microblading here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna block that out. All right, it doesn't block out. Here we go. Now it's blocked out. Let's work on one brow at a time. Is this funny? Okay, I'm gonna push the brows up so I can see. They grow down and they're, they're obstinate. The obstinate brow. All right, let's use some, I don't know. I don't know what brow products I like. I don't know what brush I like. I'm gonna use this tiny little brush. It's a winged liner EO6 from Sigma and I'm gonna use the Sigma pomade. Why is everything so difficult? So what I'm trying to do here is draw individual brow, brow hairs. Let's start out here where I remove my brow. Why did I do that? Because I've been watching Alex. Did any of you watch her buy any? All right, you have to tell the truth. Put everybody comment and tell the truth. We're all friends here. There's not gonna be any judgment. Did anybody buy her lipo outfit? You know, it's, it's stretchy bottoms. <laughs> I'm not judging. Stretchy bottoms and a stretchy camisole top. And she runs around in it like, uh, like Fran Carlton. <laughs> and she's got a uh, black rolly green I guess that's supposed to be a Rolex color. I don't know. What the hell do I know? I'm an old fart. I'm not cool. But you know I'm good with that. You know why? You know why? You know why? You know wh why? Why, Jenny? Because Taco thinks I'm cool. He thinks I'm super cool. So, yeah, okay. So who's bought one of those? So I was, uh, speaking of which, I know. Mine's a terrible thing. I was looking for Alex's last name. I can't even remember why now. I can't remember. I guess I wouldn't have to refer to her as Alex HRH. So I could refer to her as her real name. Of course, we don't refer to uh, Lisa as Lisa Lisa D1. Oh, I mean, as Lisa Duncan. We refer to her as Lisa Lisa D1. We don't. We do not. We do not refer to her at all. Because I don't want to be accused as using her name for as clickbait. Or because I don't have any content. Alright, that's better. Anyway, so... That's why I put my brows way up there is because I've been watching Alex. Never did find out her last name. Oh, but I did find a bunch of comment. I don't know, Better Business Bureau came up. <laughs> it 
if she could get rich off of bad, bad feedback, she, well, I, she's getting rich anyway, I think. Anyway, there was tons of bad feedback. So did any of you get her lipo outfit? Did you get her, get her stretchy pants? Oh, okay. So the three colors are black, dead girl, and roly, roly green. All right. And the way we got on the subject about that is I had shaved off the end of my brows because I've been watching her. Oh, and speaking of which, did you see her last video? She's got them, she's call, calling them daggers. <laughs> no judgment. I'm taking the red and feathering it right here between the chocolate brown and the in the Cosmopolitan. And then I'm going to take the Beaches and Cream and take it around the perimeter of the whole thing. Like that. Then I'm going to take where is the I don't remember what I did with my eyeliner yesterday. Let's put the uh, Pillow Talk in the waterline. I don't remember what I did. It's not that I'm changing it up on you, because I'm, I just don't remember. Pillow talk, pillow talk. Is that ever advertisement making you, that ad making you nuts? Pillow talk, pillow talk. I know, I can't carry a tune. Alright, I'm going to put the Tom Ford in the, on the tight line. So where were we going with, oh, the, uh. The decaf top. So anyway, I got my... Something I'm going to share with you. Oh, also my collagen peptides. And a big flat of organic eggs. I bet they're not organic. Whatever. Just because they say they're cage-free doesn't mean anything. It just means that they're in a big barn smashed together. It doesn't mean they're out. Pasture-raised means something. But... Cage free doesn't mean anything. It just means they're disorganized. <laughs> they're disorganized eggs. <laughs> All right, now, now, I'm gonna curl my lashes. So I had to stop at the Lowe's grocery store on the way home. I, I always, where I stop depends on like my path. Like Costco is, like my gym's here, Costco's here. Come out of Costco and you take the neighborhood roads and you come out at Lowe's. Yeah, I know. I, th I think my decisions that I make these days are based on low risk. <laughs> there was low risk. There was low risk cutting through the neighborhood to go to the local Lowe's store. All the drama I went through when my boys were in high school, there was that going on, and then in my immediate fa in my family that I left back in where I grew up, there was drama going on there. And between those two things, I, I experienced so much drama that now. I, I just, I always vote for the eat the least resistance. Okay, this is little ba black. I did not use this yesterday, but I came across it when I was cleaning up my desk this morning. Little black primer, tint amplify set. Okay, well, let's see what this, and it's by Estee Lauder. So we're going to see what this does. I know, I was doing, yesterday I used the uh, Lancome Seals Booster, but I wanted to try this. Might as well share it. Share the experiment. It just looks like mascara to me. I don't know what it's supposed to do. Y'all probably have one of these tucked back in your drawer somewhere. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming this came in a, a gift with a purchase, right? Let's see. Let's see what it's supposed to do. Estee Lauder Little Black Primer. 
uh, I got thrown off. My son sent me a message. He went and had a bunch of, had his wisdom teeth taken out and a molar taken out. And he's in agony. He's not here for me to take care of. And I'm worried about him swishing his mouth too hard and dislodging one of those blood clots. I did that when I had mine removed. Little black primer. I don't remember how old I was. 17 maybe. And I got a dry socket. Uh, oh. Anyway, let's read about Little Black Primer and then I'll tell you about Pat. Patrick threw me off because I was reading a message from him. He says that <laughs> the dentist is calling asking for more money. Why do you think you're... So I got my Little Black Primer on and I come through it and... Now let's go to foundation. So yesterday I took the By Terry Primer. It's the Hyaluronic Hydro Primer. And the By Terry Cellula Rose Brightening CC Serum. Mixed them together instead of applying them separately took my new primer brush i love having a separate brush for that i cannot tell you how much fun that is oh i'm going to concentrate it here because it's going to be brightening and that's where i put my highlighter and here where i have increasingly obvious nasal labial folds. They're awful. Down the center of my nose. My crepey waddle. Alright. I know, I can't leave my hair alone because I'm still uncertain whether I'm going <laughs> whether I'm going to go curl up in a ball in the closet and cry over it. Uh, let's see. Oh, and the foundation that I'm using, uh, using lately, I was trying to remember whether I used the Le Beige yesterday and I did not. The Waterfresh Tint. I did not. My, I did use the 3D HD Kabuki brush, but I wanted to show you my uh, beauty sponge by Tarte. I washed it with the uh, Sephora, no, the Sigma baby baby thing, brush bather. I'll put the right name right here. A picture I'll put a picture right here of the little doodad that I used I used the foam cleanser and the little you slip it on your hand and it's it's got a silicone massager thing it's like a ferio is that what it's called ferio but for your brushes <laughs> Speaking of which, I wonder if you could use your brush cleanser on your face to make your skin product soak in further. <laughs> soak in deeper. I know I'm being blasphemous towards the skincare community. I don't care. Alright, this is the Tarte Quickie something or other blending sponge. And I like it. It's as soft as the Beauty Blender. And it seems to be a little more durable. When I tried to wash my Beauty Blenders, 
I end up tearing them up. I don't know how that happened. It's sad. That was Charlotte. Charlotte in my comments. She was commenting on the Bondi Sands. We were talking about how it makes us feel feel better about ourselves when it, we're tanned. Go go under. Let me make sure that's where it is. No, it's not under the tan one. It's under a Wet and Wild Photo Focus Demo and Wear Test Review. That's where our conversation is. If you want to see the conversation. All right, so I ended up going to Lowe's and I had to put my glasses on over my contacts and I read every label and I finally found a Swiss water decaf and it's a it was Charleston. It was Charleston Coffee Company. Anyway, so I made one of those late yesterday afternoon. I can't remember what time. It was, it was well after 12. And it did not, I don't think it messed up my sleep. I may have stayed up a little bit later than, I don't know. No, I didn't. I d it didn't mess up my sleep at all. So there you have it. All right, let's do an under eye. So that's my story. The It's Charleston. G anyway, get a Swiss water decaf because it take, they get, if you're <sighs> caffeine sensitive, This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. And it shouldn't, it shouldn't affect your sleep. So I hand washed my Tati Blendiful today. The Fit Me Concealer the, in Cocoa that I was using as my contour was stubborn. I was using my Sigma foamy, shampoo-y stuff, brush shampoo, and it only helped a little bit. Anyway, the first time I washed it, I washed it in my washing machine, and I don't think I dried it. Maybe I did. I don't know. I don't remember. Anyway, it came out in a ball, and when I tried to straighten it out, I tore up in the seam, so I had to sew the seam shut. No judgment, I'm just saying, and I probably, and I haven't watched her instructions on how to wash it. That's because <laughs> she's not the boss of me. <laughs> so one of the things I got at uh, Costco was these. It is a, and it says Kirkland Italian sparkling mineral water with carbonation added, low mineral content. I wanted minerals, but I didn't see that until after I already got home. Anyway, I drink them room temperature because I'm always cold. I love them. <laughs> that would be the Scottish the Scottish in me anyway those are deli those are delicious I don't know how much they were <laughs> so I don't know whether it's the savings or not over the I guess they're trying to copy the Pellegrino or the whatever but those are good I don't know. You can compare the prices. You can be the you can be the comparer. Uh, comment here. You be the comparer and let me know if it's actually a savings or not. I don't know how many comes in the little plastic case. I'll tell you. I'll tell you that when I edit. I'll put it right here. The number of these bottles that come in. I'll tell you. I'll do the comparison. And I'll put it right here. And let you know how much of a savings it is. I don't even know what I did with the receipt. All right, let's do some contour. I'm going to use the NYX. I oh, know. I'm embracing the. So that was. Class. 
class. Do y'all remember that? Shut up. That was one of the things that I'm digging right now. And then the Swiss water decaf. I'm using the cooler tone of concealer. Not concealer, contour in this NYX palette. All right, the other thing is, is I know that velvet is already passe, the velvet pocketbook, but I don't care. I wanted one anyway. I wanted a velvet flat pocketbook and I searched and I searched, I couldn't, I wasn't paying for a Gucci. I don't know what it is lately, but I, I turned I turned a corner like I was going like just like that on two wheels. I'm having a problem spending the big bucks lately. i I'm I'm rebelling. I feel spiteful. I don't feel spiteful. I just feel like I don't know. I just I'm just not into I'm just not into it. I don't want to spend I don't want to spend the big bucks anymore. I'm over it. That's what it is. I'm over it. I'm over spending the big bucks. So anyway, I wanted a velvet bag, but I didn't want a cheap one. Anyway, I found one on Tradesy. <laughs> I think I spent Y'all aren't going to believe this. On a Rebecca Minkoff. I couldn't find a velvet one in my price range. What I wanted to spend anywhere. Anyway, so I found this one and I thought it was really pretty. And it's a Rebecca Minkoff, like I said. And here it is. I paid $175 for it. <laughs> Look how tiny it is. <laughs> it is a flat bag. And it is chevron, so it's a little trendy, right? It, it's hard to open. Look, look, it's stiff. I guess that's carp. What is in there? I don't know what's in there, but it's stiff. And you know what fits in it? My. And I'm trying not to use the F word. <laughs> My phone. That's <laughs> it. $175 for a bag to carry my phone in. It has some it has some little pockets right here. I could put a I could put a driver's license, a charge card, a phone, and a lipstick. And maybe my glasses, because I like to carry my glasses even though I have the contact. Oh, and look, it's got a gunmetal chain. It's really pretty, isn't it? I want the chain shorter. You know how they're carrying, they're calling them underarm, armpit bags, whatever. Okay, so if I take the chain and I hook it, and then take this side and hook it. I'm trying I'm trying to see if I can make it a shorter chain. I could. See ya. Except for the hooky things are, oh shit. Anyway, <clears throat> so that's the that's the bag I got. I could I could potentially carry it like that. All right. Yeah, I could return it for credit. <laughs> Is that funny? All right. I went ahead and contoured my face and I used, I'm still using the NYX palette. I used the darkest one 
and I used it here to tighten up my jaw just because I can. Let's see, where are we going to go? For? Oh, let's put another layer. I'm baking my contour. I'm going to put another layer of mascara. Oh, I have the voluminous burgundy mascara on the bottom lashes. And now I'm going to put... Yesterday I used the IT Cosmetics mascara on the Superhero on my top lashes. And I, used, I did use the burgundy voluminous on the bottom. I'm still using the Rodan and Fields, whatever it is, Enhancer. Is that what it's called? I'm being pretty faithful about it. Taking off my makeup and using some sort of, I'm kind of rotating my skincare, just depending on how, God, it's garbage day. They're picking up the recycle. How many of you believe that they really recycle the stuff or whether it's just a jobs program and it all goes into the city dump anyway? <laughs> Comment here. Do they really recycle it or do they throw it, that, throw it away? Is it just a jobs program? Yes, yes, I do. I put my uh, soda cans and I do. I put the recycle stuff in the recycle bin. I do my part. I pretend like I believe that they're recycling, really recycling it. Okay, the other thing I, I spent a bunch of money on, and I know, I said <laughs> I was boycotting the big bucks. Bit by, by, by. So I'm saving a lot of money by spending money. Let's do a blush. Yesterday I used the Dahlia by Becca. I know. It's bright, isn't it? This is the Master's Touch Oval Mop number 425 from Hobby Lobby. So I wanted some black flat sandals to wear with my black jeans for when I go do makeup jobs this summer. I like sandals during the summer because I like to show off my pedicure. And I wanted the vow Valentino with the studs on it, you know. I do not like the Valentino flip-flops, and I know there's a copy on Amazon, and it's really cute, but I don't do bows. That would be along the same lines of pretending again, because I don't do bows. Anyway, so that too was a chore to find a pair of black flat stud sandals in my size that had not sold out yet they're already selling out i mean i really hunted so i went on nordstrom i see sam edelman has a cute one maybe steve madden has one but Ash was the only one that had the black one that had studs that was in my size. So I ordered two. I ordered the eight and the nine. And I'm going to put the picture here and the link down below so you can take a look at them. But anyway, they're not here yet. All right, let's... What did I put on my makeup? I put on my makeup with the, with the Beauty Blender. I'm going to take this brush and wipe off my baking and blend in my contour a little bit. I found some old pictures. I'll put one right here of before I have my injectable nose job. Y'all aren't going to believe what a difference that makes. A little bit of Botox and a little bit of filler. 
I'll put that picture right here. You're not going to believe that. All right. What are we going to do now? Oh, highlight. So yesterday, I used the an eyeshadow from this. Artemis, I believe. No. Maybe it's Luna. I don't know. I'll put the correct colors. All right. Earlier when I said I put Luna under my brow, I think the name is... All right. Let's just say this is Artemis. I'm going to take my high cheekbone highlighter brush from Sigma. It's an FO3. And I'm going to take this shadow. Oh, darn. Put too much. There. I wiped it off with my damp beauty sponge from Tarte. Alright, I'll show you that color. It's this one that's it's crumbling right here. I'll put a I'll put a picture here that'll probably be better than what I'm showing you. So you can look at that. It doesn't it doesn't look like it would make a good highlight. It looks like it would be too dark. <sighs> I look old and dried out. Okay, I'm going to put some. It's time to switch over to the decaf already. What time is it? 9.30. There are no, there's not a bar class today. I may go over there and walk on the treadmill anyway, though. Do something. Let's do lips. Yesterday, I really liked my lip. And I went through, like I have... All these are matte lip glosses, but this one was incredibly dimensional. It's Baby Sparks. I know, y'all already know. It is so freaking stinky. All right, so I the battery the battery ran out because i was so long-winded but i put on the baby sparks and the highlight on my cupid's bow is the jouet skinny dip and did i touch up anything else while you were gone uh i really like the mars drug down underneath like that And I like that eyeshadow, which is Artemis as my highlight on my cheekbone. It's hard to believe that that just blends right in, but it does. And I put some Laura Mercier translucent powder on, on top of my Maybelline that looks, doesn't look bright enough. I look, I look circly right here. There. Anyway, I put the Laura Mercier underneath my eyes to set my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I hope you enjoyed this time visiting today. And be sure and look at the things in the description box. Sometimes I have you ask questions about things that are down there. And that's okay. I like to hear from you regardless or irregardless. Anyway, I'll try to link everything in the description box so you can see a picture of it. Y'all have a great day. Come back again soon.